everybody. Happy Tuesday. Did you have a good weekend? I have a brand new book to share with you today and this one is Goodnight Toucan. It's written by Joanne Pardis and it's published by Tiger Tales and we want to thank them for allowing us to read this book to you today. So just like I promised, here's a great good night story and let's find out what this one is all about. First of all, look at these beautiful flowers. Isn't that great? It is, isn't it? Good night, Toucan. Ta-da! Toucan had decided to throw a sleepover party for his friends. It's going to be fabulous, he said. I hope everyone can come. I'd like to go to a fabulous party. How about you? Everyone was excited to receive an invitation. A sleepover party, hooray! Awesome, party time, super cool. In fact, they were even more excited than Toucan had expected. Yes, please, they all cried. It's gonna be the best sleepover ever. <gasps> cool, that's a lot of pressure. Best ever? Back at his treetop home, Toucan was starting to worry. His decoration suddenly didn't feel special enough. Not for the best sleepover ever. Not yummy enough. Not snuggly enough. Ah, I need to find things for the perfect party now, he said, and he charged into the jungle. What's he gonna find? Fabulous flower decoration, said Toucan. Just what I need. One, the little yellow ones were pretty or the big pink ones. What do you think, yellow or pink? Think pink. I want the biggest ones, panted Toucan. He was about to struggle home when he saw fluffy ferns. What a snuggly bed they would make, cried Toucan. He just had to have one. Whoa, Toucan thought. Maybe that was a few too many. Puff Toucan. He was furiously flapping to stay above the treetops, but then he saw something really wonderful. Oh my, what a feast those yummy bananas would make. All right, do you see him? He's struggling with the flower and the ferns. Now we've got some yummy bananas. Do you think he can get them? This sleepover is going to be the best after all, Toucan huffed happily. Night had fallen in the jungle and the fireflies were coming out. Twinkling lights, gasped Toucan. I must have them. How is he gonna catch them? The fireflies darted here and there. Toucan swooped and then he dove closer and closer until, got you, he cried. But, uh-oh. <gasps> Splash! Uh-oh, everything is all wet. Back at Toucan's house, it was sleepover time at last, but Toucan was nowhere to be seen. We're here, called Monkey. It's bedtime, yawn sloth. I brought bedtime stories, said Tiger. Where are you, Toucan, said Frog. And what was that funny, dripping sound? That's pretty funny. Sloth is tired. Aren't sloths always tired? It was Toucan. Everything is ruined, wailed Toucan. It won't be the best sleepover ever. I don't have twinkling lights. Yes, you do, said Frog, pointing up at the stars. I love your decorations, smiled Sloth. And I love your berries, laughed Monkey. We have exactly what we need to make this sleepover special, said Tiger. And that is, what do you think makes it special? Do you have any guesses? What do you think? All right. You, they all cried. <sighs> Blushed Toucan. He'd been so silly. So Toucan snuggled up with his very best friends around him. And that's all he really needed for the best sleepover ever. And look. We've got books and fairies, and they're sleeping. The end. 
So, what did you think about this story? And what is the best sleepover you ever had? Let me know on our Instagram page. I will be back on Thursday with another brand new story. So until then, I hope you have a great couple days and I'll see you back here on Thursday. Bye for now.